Okay, before we get started with today's King James Version Bible Daily Devotion, as always, have a word of prayer. Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for this channel. I thank you how it's just touching lives, all through your power and all for your glory. Nothing to do with me. I pray that people would leave here today knowing more about your word than when they came. That you would just open minds and, and hearts and souls, that the Holy Spirit would just speak to our hearts. And we would take off more of man and put on more of Jesus every day. In your precious name I ask it, amen. Today's scripture is Proverbs chapter 19, verse 18. As always, all I ever use is the King James Version Bible, the only real Bible out there that's mass produced. I shall lay it some KJV upon thee. Chasten my son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crime. Sadly, in today's world, children are off the hook. They live like hoodlums, they live like heathen. And you know why? Because parents have allowed them to. When I was growing up, my parents went way overboard, and uh, I took some severe beatings all the time. A lot of most of, most of the time, I never even deserved it. They just beat me because whatever. They were drug addicts and alcoholics and all kinds of issues. But sparing the rod and sport does indeed spoil the child. Now, there are plenty of ways to discipline kids. I'm not seeing to go out and start beating on kids because nowadays that's called child abuse. Even if you spank a kid nowadays. It's called child abuse in a lot of circles, and they'll put you in jail. That's how terrible, and perverted, and filthy, and wicked this world's become. But you have to find a way to discipline your kids. The Bible tells us to. If not, they turn out exactly like the majority of kids I see nowadays are. Kids are just turning into little monsters. <coughs> I see them running around stores and screaming and yelling and saying they want this, and, and they're shoplifting, and they're having sex at a very early age, and very disrespectful to to adults of all kinds, parents, authority figures, teachers, doesn't matter who it is, uh, employers, it's terrible how kids have become. It's, it's the me generation, me, me, me. What do you have for me? I don't care what I can do for you. It doesn't matter. I want to know what you can do for me. Me, 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 me. I'm just so tired of it. And I'm just so sick of how kids are turning out. I know all kids aren't that way, but the vast majority in line share with Mark. And they don't understand. They think we're a bunch of old fogies who don't know anything. They think we're a bunch of of ancient dinosaurs when we speak about Bible truths and speak about the way that people are supposed to live. It doesn't matter. As parents were responsible for our children to discipline them in a way that they learn about Jesus Christ above all and the Holy Bible and that they learn about respect and they learn about doing the things the Bible tells us to do. Now after they're grown, we have no control over them. They can do what they want to do. I know it breaks our hearts. I know it's hard to be able to deal with and to accept. But they have their own life then. See the sad thing is in the old days the prodigal son or daughter had decades to come back to Jesus. Nowadays, with the rapture being so imminent, they don't have all that time. As soon as the rapture happens, any second of any day, there's left behind for seven years of hell on earth. It's going to make today's terrible world look like Disneyland. So it's time, my friends. It's time now. Start discipline your kids somehow. Don't break any laws. Don't do anything against the law, but discipline them and teach them what's true. If anyone has out there has not been saved by Jesus' blood, ever. Or if you were saved at one point, you're backslidden, you believe the lies of once saved, always saved. That teaches that once you're saved, it don't matter about your sin, it's forgiven anyways. That's a bunch of baloney. I got a little bad news for you. A little 411. I've got 250 scripture on a Word document that I've exhaustively prepared, including commentary. Not my words, not your words, God's word. And it says that if you do not repent of your sins after you're saved, you will not step foot into heaven. You will not be raptured. That's God's word. That's the way it is. So I invite you to pray as well with me as we have a word of prayer. Let's get our prayer all lined up here. In fact, let me see if I can increase the size a little bit. That might help. I've noticed the size might be a little bit off before. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's see if that locks it in. Locks it in. There we go. Okay, let's pray. Jesus, I know, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Now next, after you pray this prayer, get you a King James Version Bible and read it daily. It will feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized, dunked under water. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it does not count. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified. You do this by praying, reading the Bible, living for Jesus. 
Take your King James Version Bible to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. And lastly, very important, make sure you repent of every sin you do now after you're saved. Ask Jesus with an honest heart to forgive you, and he will. If anyone has a prayer request from me, wants me to pray for them for anything from eternal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed of faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. Praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, he gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day if you ask me to. Expecting a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's within his holy will. And if he does, it's all through him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom. A tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's get off the sidelines. Get out there on the front line. Battle. Fight the war in God's army. Let's get out there and witness to the lost. Reap the harvest so plentiful it's rotting in the fields. Put on the full armor of God. Morning, noon, and night. So you can be able to fight against Satan in his fiery darts. And lastly, as always, take off more of man. Put on more of Jesus every day. I love you guys. Pray for you daily. And I pray I'll be back again next time, Lord willing, with the next King James Version daily devotional. Good night.